welcome back to another video with Talks with Steph. This episode, I will be discussing what they don't tell you about finishing college. I wanted to do this because I've been seeing a lot on my social media how a lot of my friends are discussing their careers and goals and how having a degree sometimes is it really benefit is it really going to benefit them? And also, I'm a prime example as well, so I would love to share my little bit share my story and kind of give you guys some advice and inspiration that may help you on your journey of figuring out if maybe you want to go to college or maybe you don't and I just want to throw it out there because I may have young viewers watching this video please don't let this video discourage you about going to college I think college is an awesome experience no matter what despite my journey of it all I honestly am glad that I have my degree so I will say that <laughs> so let's get into this video guys honestly I think this is one of the topics that is like an elephant in the room a lot of people don't like to talk about it maybe because we live in a world as such where Everything is social media, everything looks glam, everything looks beautiful. But honestly, I love hearing stories of how you have a degree or you went through something traumatic and your story your story has a beautiful ending. So I love hearing stories of such because I honestly believe you went to college for a reason and it will serve you a purpose no matter if you are in that field or not. Um, for me, I will say I am not in my field. <laughs> Hey, it happens to the best of us you know I was I really tried guys like I really tried like my bachelor's is in forensic science police concentration so I wanted to do crime scene went on two interviews for those and I did not get the job so honestly I can say I tried and then I got my back my master's but you know what I honestly feel like with my master's it was one of those things where they should have told me I, I should have got licensed. Um, but, you know, I feel like things work out for the way that they're supposed to. So I will see how this journey unfolds with these degrees. Um, I have always worked, so I always had to work in college. So I just feel like during your journey of college, I feel like they should tell you that it is very important to try to get a little bit internship in there even though it is hard I feel like they should do more for the working parent who has to go to school and go to work and maintain their household all in one I feel like there should be a program to help families as such but what can you do guys what can you do but honestly I feel like they don't tell you about the uncertain tea that you will have after finishing I feel like you go through a phase of those blues of not knowing what is going to happen next and you can plan 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 because I'm a planner and honestly your life will still not go the way that you thought it would no matter what and I just feel like there should be some type of balance after finishing college like oh my god I think when it comes to the uncertainty that is you have been we have been taught that going to college is what we should do no matter what you know and I just feel like you always know what your next step will be like you know okay I'm a junior so then next year I'll be a senior and I just feel like they don't really tell you about the uncertainty after finish finishing college like yeah they say well you can go apply for a job but okay what if it, that doesn't happen? What if you don't get a job? You know, it's like you're trying to find that balance of the of life because you no longer have a set schedule of going to school. So I feel like they don't really tell you about the uncertainty that you will feel and the feelings that come into play. Um, another thing I feel like they don't tell you being a postgraduate is how... <clears throat> You're terrified. You're scared shitless of like, okay, well, what's next in my life? You know, when I graduated my master's, I was what? I grad 25. So I'm like, okay, life changing, 25. What's next for me? You know, like life is steady going on and you see everyone around you and you're like, okay, 
what's gonna happen to little old me over here? You know, even though you're working, you're doing the legwork that you're trying to get a job, you're applying, trying to update your resume, and it's terrifying because it's like you go on these interviews and they don't, they don't hire you or they disregard you because you don't have experience. So I feel like it's another thing of being freaking terrified. But I honestly can say, when you start to feel terrified, take a moment to reflect on everything that you have accomplished. Going to school, going to college is not easy. And don't ever let no one tell you that it is. Honestly, going to college, it made me much stronger because it's like, okay, I did something that no one else has done in my family. And it's like, I have succeeded the, the, the statistics of living in the hood and doing amazing things. So you have to take the good from it. So whenever you may feel terrified or uncertain, look at all of the positive things that you have done and, that, and think about your direction in life because that's what I do. Even though I'm not in my field, I look at it like, okay, Steph, you did, you did these beautiful things. You're a role model for your children that even though you didn't know what the future held for you, you still went ahead and did it because you leaned on your faith. And I still have faith that one day I will utilize my degrees in some sense. But honestly, it is what it is. You know, you have to, I think you'll get to a point in your journey of a post-grad of self-reflecting, um, and taking the good for what it is. I think you'll get there. Um, I'm post, I'm a little out. I think I'm, what, out two years of graduating, finishing my degree, so for both. So I feel like I'm at a phase now where I have accepted it and I'm moving forward. And I think that's another thing they don't tell you. You have to learn to accept it for what it is and you have to just, like I said, take the good and move forward. And Honestly, don't let no one tell you that your degrees don't mean anything because honestly, we live in a world where you actually need it. It's, isn't that so crazy how it's like, okay, got my degree, boom, got it. But on the flip side, it's like, you still need it to apply for a job that's not even in your field. That's a whole other thing they don't tell you. You know, you go on applying for the job. You wanna know how I know this because I'm living proof. I'm in a field that is not in my degree, but you know what I was told? Oh, we chose you because you have a master's degree. And it's like, it makes you feel good on one side, but on the other side, it's like, damn. I wish, you know, you. it's, it's one of those things where you have to self-reflect and say, you know what? This is not my future. You just have to take the good and just keep being positive no matter what in your journey um and i think that if you keep being positive in the journey no even i was watching um another youtuber her name's ashley and i posted this on my facebook she said when you are in the gray areas of your life that's when it matters the most those moments where you feel like you haven't done enough, take a moment to self-reflect, to stay focused, to stay motivated, to be positive, because that's when it counts the most. And you know how I know that is so true? Because if you didn't watch my first episode of self-sabotaging, we do that. We self-sabotage because we'll say, okay, well, I have my degree, but okay. You know, like we brush it off. And I feel like you shouldn't do those things, even though you aren't in your field. And it's just one of those things where you just have to remain steadfast in the journey, no matter what. The thing is, I feel like they don't tell you after graduating college is that don't look at what your friends are doing. Um, we get so caught up in what everyone else is doing that sometimes you, you are happy for them, but you're looking at their success and wondering why you haven't succeeded yet. And it's it just goes back to what I just said about staying steadfast in your gray areas of life. Um, I feel like no matter what, even if they don't tell you these things about finishing college, 
no matter what, just stay positive in this journey. For me, I will say that it does hurt because you do go through this journey of years of getting this degree and many are in debt because of this degree. But you know what? I take the good from it. Um, I just try to remain positive because, <clears throat> you know, I went to school not only to be better for myself, but I did it because my dad never finished high school. So, you know, I look at it as another way like we won. We won. I'm a young black woman and I have my master's degree and I don't like put it over my head or I don't belittle no one. But you know what? I honestly feel good that I did it even if I'm not in my field because I know if you ever go and look for jobs, <clears throat> we live in a world now where a bachelor's means nothing. Just think about years to come if you're not your own boss, what a master's degree will mean. It's like the next step is a PhD and I ain't doing that. <laughs> we gonna make these two degrees work for what it is. And I, the only advice that I can say is, <clears throat> once you get to that point of accepting what it is because I think a lot of times is it's not giving up on your dreams of that career that you want but sometimes it isn't meant for you your that path is not meant for you and that is what I had to learn um, I'll share this like I have stated I don't know if I said stated <laughs> but um, my bachelor's is in forensics um, my master's is in human services counseling crisis response and when I figured out that I wouldn't be a crime scene technician, I had to think about a plan B. It made me think, I will say that, it made me think about a plan B, even though you should have a plan B. Um, you should plan, even though you don't know what the future will hold. And I was like, well, what's next? What do I wanna do if crime scene does not work out for me? And I said, oh, I wanna be a victim advocate. I want to help young women and men who've been through something traumatic sexual assault, domestic violence, something in those lines, in those areas. And I ended up finding this program and it helped me get my master's, a fast track master's, got my master's. But what I didn't know is, I should have researched more, but what I didn't know is that I needed to be a license for certain things. Um, but this is why I say stay positive throughout your journey. My job now where I work, they have a program where I can become certified to be a victim advocate. So look at God, look at how he worked that all that out for me. Um, I'm currently taking the classes and I feel like God will put you in a situation for a reason. So even if you are not in your field, even if you hate the work that you do, there is a purpose. And there's a reason why you are at that facility. It's either to gain experience, it's either to take you to the next level, or it's either to provide you with something. And I feel like it has provided me with something. So that's why I say I really wanted to do this video because even though you may be feeling the postpartum blues, <laughs> stay positive in those gray areas of your life, man. Like, you know, <clears throat> I think that's why I I started to focus on I seen a quote I can't remember what it said but it said you'll have something where that makes you money you'll have something that's a hobby and then you'll have your passion and you can turn those things into your dream job depending on the direction that you choose to go and that's why like in my first video of talks with Steph I said I'm really passionate about videos. I'm pass passionate about editing. You know, I'm passionate about getting a story. I'm passionate about someone telling their story. You know, I figured out my, my, my direction of life. Even if this doesn't work out for me, like my career, I have something else to fall back on. And I think that's another thing you should do in this journey of your life. You should, do things that make you happy because one day it could be your full-time job. 
and one day you won't have to work for someone else. Not saying everyone's going to be a boss. No, I'm not saying that. But I think sometimes everything that you have been through, even going through college, has taught you something. And postpartum, college, postpartum of college has taught you something as well. So that's what all I wanted to discuss, guys. Hope it wasn't too long, but I really wanted to do this topic because we don't talk about it. And I hope that my story may have helped you out because I'm one of you all. Not in my field, but you know what? I'm taking the good for what it is, and I will continue to do so. And I think you will do that as well when you get to the point of knowing when to move forward in your journey of that path that you are stuck on. So I think that's one thing that they don't tell you. And I think that's something that you will have to figure out on your own when that time comes in your path. So I hope you like this video, guys. Also, Please give this video a thumbs up if you loved it and also subscribe to my channel if you are new and checking out this new series on my channel. I have more things coming for you all, but I definitely wanted to hit this one out there on the part because, you know, we're entering the new year soon and goals need to be being accomplished. So I'll see you guys in my next video.